I'm just kidding. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't know that was buckled. Welcome back to Aaron and Nick. Hey guys, today we decided to do a Q&A because that was very requested on Instagram when I asked for the uncut subscribers what y'all wanted to see. And the Q&A kept popping up over and over, so we wanted to do it today. <laughs> Why do y'all live in Texas? Would you move to another state? I'll let Nick take this one. Um. The only way we'd move to another state is if we could go to, like, Wyoming or maybe Alaska. I thought last time it was Montana. Or Montana. And, and I, I haven't, you haven't asked me any of that, so. I was looking at ranches last night in Wyoming and Montana. Why? I didn't even know that. Just You're looking. leaving me? I was just looking. <laughs> um, we're probably going to be in Texas forever. And we've already talked about how if we ever moved we would never sell this house like we would just make it into an airbnb or something because like we will never let this house go mark my words i have two kids and get stressed in the morning how do you do it so riley is on vacation right now um and yesterday i had multiple meltdowns i was actually supposed to film two videos and i haven't done any of it so um, so yesterday I woke up and Riley's out of town and um, I had to take Nick to his surgery, which he can tell you about in just a second. Um, and then I, my two big girls have cheer. So to Nick's surgery, an hour there, then procedure. Oh, hour there, hour back. Then they called me right when I got Reese, Cody down for her nap. And I was only home maybe 15 minutes. They called me that he was ready. Then an hour there and an hour back. Then here at the house, give everybody lunch. Cody starts not feeling well. Um, then immediately get everybody ready for cheer, an hour to cheer, two, two and a half hours there, an hour back. We get home last night at 9.30. So um, I am hanging on by a thread. What are your roles for parenting? Do y'all take parents doing certain things or does it change day to day? Best parenting advice. I do whatever Aaron tells me to do with a smile on my face. It changes day to day. Like yesterday, it was um, a vacation that I only had the oldest two at cheer because normally I have all four. Um, but then sometimes like when I'm doing something, he'll take them or he'll take two or sometimes he does bath routine, sometimes I do bath routine. But I think we're a pretty good team as far as like when one person needs the other one to do something, I feel like we rise to the occasion. How far in advance do y'all plan trips, budgeting, etc.? Trying to get better at this to create more experiences for my family. Don't ask us. We don't budget. Aaron just tells me the next day that we're going to Disney World. What's one thing that the other does that gets on your nerves? Mm. We actually just had a little tiff, tizzy, hi Zell, a little tizzy about it this morning. Whenever I get out of the shower, I dry off, I hang my towel on the towel thing. Nick will get out of the tower, out of the shower. I don't know how, he's like sopping wet. He'll fill up a whole soggy, huge towel and just bundle it up and just set it somewhere. And then the next time he takes a shower, he wants to use the dry one that I have hanging there and his moldy one just there on the floor. That drives me insane. And we just had this conversation this morning and he goes, he gets out of the shower and he goes, well, I'm just gonna use your towel. That's the exact thing I was well, talking that's, about. Well, that's the most that I do. I think I'm in a good uh, No, it's not. That's spot. just what's happened in the last two hours. <laughs> what do I do that annoys you this? Mm. Nag you? Yeah, Aaron's a little bit of a nagger. <laughs> <laughs> you are. <laughs> uh, what do I do that annoys you, Nick, besides that? Oh, goodness. <laughs> are you going to have any more kids, or are you done? Done. Done. No way. I gotta get my cut, though. Um, we are not having any more kids, like 0% chance, but you really do need to get your appointment set up, Nick, because what's gonna happen is an accident. I know, well, if you... You have us booked up for weeks, Erin. No, that's not true. 
If a major network wanted to propose a reality TV show deal for you and your family, would you do it? It all depends on the contract. No, because we can't make the final editing call. I've been down that road before and it's a nightmare and like zero out of 10 recommend. Um, whatever happened to clowning? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what is clowning? Okay, clowny is my little clown stuffed animal that- It's in the storage cabinet. My storage. dad gave me, and it was a memory because there was all these clown stuffed animals at Walmart. And I don't know if y'all remember wanna, when they used to hang them all the way to the ceiling. glance inside of Aaron's soul, like as a kid, what toy do you want to pick out? I want to pick out the creepiest, weirdest looking clown that you could possibly pick. Um, but Clowny made an appearance on Big Brother whenever I won head of household one of the weeks. Your, your family can send things from home that are very like important to you or nostalgic. And Clowny was like there with me every moment of my childhood. You were each other's one. Like, you were the one for each other. Our first date. I think our first date at dinner. At uh, at the, on Valentine's. Taverna. 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 When did you know I was the one? I'm just kidding. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't know that was buckled. <laughs> was there ever a time either of you just wanted to call it quick? Yeah, several. Just kidding. Not several, but there have been like a couple times that I'm just like, this is way too stressful. And he immediately whips himself into shape for a good week. For a good week. <laughs> okay. Um, how do you deal with Aaron? <laughs> Very carefully. Um, <clears throat> you know, one day at a time. Uh, no, I've. Now I, it's taken me a while, I'm a slow learner, you know, uh, but <laughs> I have to, you have to, you have to understand, yeah, you have to empathize with her and where her, she's coming from, and I am not an empathetic person at all, I'm just not, and so that's, that's been taken a little while to, to learn, like. Why didn't Nick take your last name? Would he change it if you asked him to? No and no. Oh no. <laughs> what kind of question is that? 2022. <laughs> what is your second favorite dinosaur? Second favorite dinosaur? I read the question. Everything. So I guess my favorite one is the, the long neck one. The brontosaurus. brontosaurus. Yeah. Well, there's several different kinds. The pastel orange one. T-Rex. Okay, so our last question is for Ryan. Someone requested a backstory for Ryan Hall Productions, so here we go. But first, here's our, here's our little <laughs> camera woman over there for right now. Okay. So Ryan, how did Ryan Hall Productions become a thing? So, um... I've always been into film and photography ever since I was a kid. Uh, when I was 11, I got my first camera, uh, a little, I think it was like an eight millimeter camera. Um, all my friends were skateboarders and I wasn't good enough to do any of the tricks, so I thought I'd be the camera guy and buy a camera. And um, I've always loved movies, all kinds of movies, um, and I just really enjoyed the cinematography and the idea that went into how you make some, how, why does a movie look like a movie whenever you film something on your iPhone it doesn't look like a movie? Why, why is that? And that's always been something that fascinated me. But when I went into high school, um, I was really big into music. I was a drummer and I wanted to go to school to be a music teacher. And that's where I met Reba and she ghosted me. I went into teaching for about six years. I was a music teacher in Wimberley, Texas and loved it for a while, but quickly got over it once I saw how ugly parents can be nowadays and all of the Karens of the world that, you know, think that their kids are precious and that they could do no harm or no evil. And then in June of 2020, Reba bought me some camera equipment that I wanted. 
I enjoyed filming our girls all the time and I made YouTube videos for our girls and she said, you should start a videography business. And I said, you want me to start a business in the middle of a worldwide pandemic? That's a terrible idea. And she said, no, you're the kind of person that would do it. The way it started was really, <laughs> was really rough um, because I was still teaching technically. So I was doing my 80 hours a week during the week and then putting in practically 40 hours on the weekend building a business. Um, and it was a lot of ups and downs, but eventually at the start of 2021, I went full time, quit teaching and, and uh, you know, Ryan Hall Productions took off and we haven't looked back since. And it's been, we've done a lot of crazy things from shooting out of planes to shooting underwater, to shooting, you know, we're shooting cheetahs next week and rhinos and race cars and, you know, crazy blondes chugging margaritas on the beach in Mexico. I mean, that's the, that's the wildest experience. That's been the craziest one so far. I mean, I've seen, I've been literally shot wild animals and then shooting this wild blonde was like, like, and there was no supervision at all. <laughs> It was completely unsupervised, and I don't understand how that's, you know, there was no OSHA or anything involved. <laughs> um, but it's been a lot of fun, and I have zero regrets. I'm very happy that my wife sat me down one day and said, I hate your job, you need to quit and start something new. So, here we are. I don't hate his job anymore. I love that. That's nice. And now you guys work. Yeah, it's cute, right? It's so cute. Yeah, now Reba works for me. It made you cry? Yeah. Why did it make you cry though? It was just a bunch of... That's sweet. That's cute. That's how I felt. I, I was very emotional when I watched it because it was a lot of work. Like you, I know how much work it took. Oh, my best friend is here now. What's up, girl? How you doing? It's always with the tickling and then the hat stealing. I don't understand. <laughs> hey, you want to play Walk of Paper Scissors? Walk of Paper Scissors. Okay, but I'm going to be the rock. Ready? Here we go. Okay, you're gonna be rock? Yeah. Got it. Here we go, ready? And rock, of paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, 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 she got smart. Your little kindergarten plastic scissors over there. Fair enough. Next time on Aaron and Nick Uncut. It's been so long since we've done a Disney vlog, so since we're here, we're gonna do it. Cool, isn't it?